<laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Alice Madness Returns, our Halloween special series. Yay! Um, I know nothing about this game. Nothing whatsoever. Except that uh, my mate Fred said, recommended it, and said that it would be a good Halloween series. And about three days after he said that, it popped up discounted on Steam for about three quid. And I thought, you know what, maybe this is meant to be. I should tell you, I'm recording this on the 2nd of August. <laughs> if you're seeing this, it means the entire series is recorded and edited and ready to go. Before you start thinking to yourself, oh wonderful, another series that she'll do three parts of and then get bored. No, 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 if you're seeing it, it's completed. I've I've started very early to make sure that it is going to be done and, and, and so we're not going to have any more like half completed series because I've got enough of them. Um, yeah, so I know absolutely nothing about this game. Nothing at all. I know its name and I, I've got as far as this opening screen and I'm already getting quite creepy vibes from it. Like if you go into the configuration menu, look, you've just got like diagrams of brains and stuff like that. And then if you go into things, it's got, well, actually that one's not very spooky, is it? Uh, if we go into, was it that one? Yeah, it's just got like a creepy eyeball. <laughs> I, and I didn't quite know how creepy this game was going to be. I didn't know if it was going to be like super, super creepy or if it was going to be like tongue in cheek, a bit, you know, weird, but not like super creepy. I feel like it might be a bit like super creepy. I'm not sure. And then what on earth is that supposed to be? That looks like a... Is that like a fetus? I don't know what that is, but it's a bit disturbing. And uh, we're going to be playing on normal difficulty, apparently. Yeah, I haven't looked at audio yet. That's just... Yes, I thought that. I thought there might be like a diagram of an ear or something in audio. Look at like little eyeballs on all of the sliders. Lovely. Um, yeah, so apart from that, I don't know anything. Uh, I read the reviews on Steam and... The reviews for the game itself were all good, but a lot of them said that it's not the best PC port in the world. And it's a bit buggy and clanky and the controls aren't that great. So, I don't know, we'll see as we go through. But, um, yes, apart from that, let's just, uh, get, I don't know what memories is. What's memories? Is that things that you pick up throughout the game? Yes, apparently, maybe you have to collect stuff. There's also, intriguingly, were there cockroaches on that page? There were, yes, how lovely. Um... Yes, intriguingly, there's a bit here that says equip. <sighs> Story mode, like Wonderland, decide how Alice is dressed, and I can't change it. So I don't know if you pick up different outfits as you go through. This is quite an old game, and games from that era did used to be quite big on, like, the old collectibles, where you collect, like, uh, outfits and things that you could then do on your next playthrough. I love things like that. Anyway, um, should we get started? Select the difficulty. Let's go normal. Should we go normal? Should we go easy? Yeah, let's go normal. I like the blood splatters. <laughs> Do enjoy the blood splatters. It's very nice. Uh, invert vertical look. Um, now, I do invert one of them. Is it the vertical one I invert? I think it is, yeah. We can always change it if it's not right. Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It, it's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. I can't. I'm trapped. In my past. Sergeant, this girl's badly burned. Call for a doctor. She'll be all right. No, Alice. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm, it's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? 
I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rabbit! No, not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new wonder emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories. I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Okay. Yes, this is definitely creepy vibes. And no, that's the wrong thing that's inverted. Hang on, I need to set the controls a bit. Oh, this is so nice. I do like the menus. They're very cool. I enjoy that there is a key for Clockwork Bomb, apparently, and also Jump doubles up as Float. <laughs> Could be an interesting game, this, isn't it? Select Pepper Grinder. Uh huh. Select T Cannon. Umbrella Block. Uh, interact Call Cheshire Cat. Trigger Camera. Okay! <laughs> Spoilers in the. Uh... In the key bindings. Uh, now the mouse isn't quite sensitive enough. Yes, I see what you mean by s slightly clunky. Also, that motion blur is fucking horrible. Hang on. Uh, okay, I think I've sorted it. I think I have sorted it. Yes, okay. So, yes, I'm definitely getting nice creepy vibes. Um, I feel like, are we like in some kind of horrific, awful asylum where rather than actually like helping people and treating their problems, they just try to make them forget? Because I feel like that's what we're uh, going with. And, uh, Trust me, it doesn't work. I speak from experience. Anyway, so this is the boys' room. Do you think we're allowed in the boys' room? We seem to be allowed in the boys' room. There's a dead fish. That's nice. Oh, drawings of demons and whatnot. Yes. Loose smells awful. Worse than your room? Oh, that's cool, actually. They, they, they move when we stand on them. Oh, we can rip up their pictures. Rip up their pictures and stamp on them. Can we jump? We can't jump yet. Okay. We've not been gifted the ability of jumping. Oh, he pinched me small. Okay, this is going to be that kind of game. Excellent. Um, I don't know when this game came out, actually, but it doesn't look as old as what I was thinking it was. I suppose it might have been zhuzhed up a bit. Um, oh my god, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. Can't find the door. Yeah, as Alice says, I actually cannot find the door. Oh, this is the girls' room, apparently. Press D to enter first person camera mode. <gasps> that's gonna make me feel really sick, that is. That's gonna make me feel so sick. Ooh, creepy clown. Is that a frog? That looks like a dead frog in a fishbowl. Oh, look at that. That's delightful. Oh, I love a creepy doll. <laughs> Oh, the game is absolutely determined that I should be in first person mode, but it's horrible. It's making me feel ill. No, I don't like it, game. I don't like it, man. Yeah, this first person camera is awful. Also, I seem to be shorter in first person camera. Like, I don't seem much taller than these guys. And then when I come out, I'm like really tall. Yeah, first person camera. I'm basically like in her chest. Quite enjoying the dialogue. Uh, right, okay, let's 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 do whatever it is we're supposed to be doing. Apparently we're going to the pharmacy or something. Is the pharmacy in the asylum? I'm just assuming this is an asylum. Um Or is he like letting me out? Ooh. Abandoned toys and worn-out shoes have a past. And the people who use them too. My past was consumed by fire. <laughs> she 
<laughs> She's a bit of a manic depressive, Alice. Is this going to be a bit of a depressing kind of game? Um, can, you, can I move? Can I move? There we go. Okay, so I can like examine things. I can examine this. The Illustrated News uh, feeds an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at match factory, six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? The world's gone quite mad. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Okay, what does that mean? Does that mean this isn't an asylum? Is this my room? I'm a bit confused. Hang on. This photograph of my family was delivered here by post. No message, no return address. I'm grateful for this memento, but I wish I could thank the sender. Okay, so this must be my room. That is the creepiest family portrait I have ever seen in my life. Oh my god, look at the rabbit I'm holding. Is that me? There's four people in that picture. Do I have a sibling? Uh, it doesn't mention a sibling, I don't know. I've drawn an angry castle, some mushrooms or toadstools. That must be the Mad Hatter. I'm afraid I don't actually know that much about Alice in Wonderland. The only Alice in Wonderland I've been exposed to is the live action films by Disney, which I love. I love those live action films. And the sequel got like really bad reviews as far as I remember. Like it wasn't considered to be a very good film. I went to see it like five times when it came out in the cinema. I loved that film. Uh, through, the, through, through the Looking Glass. I loved that with Johnny Depp and Helena Bonham Carter. Whenever you get those two in a film together, you know it's gonna be good. Uh, what are we looking at here? That's just the photograph again. So yeah, she said this could pass for my room at the asylum. Does that mean we're not in an asylum? Have we come out of an asylum? Because this feels quite asylum-y to me. And I'm assuming we're in like victorian -y times where everything was awful. <laughs> Good setting for a uh, bit of a horror game, if that's what this is going to be. Yeah, they're all saying just really horrible things to me as I'm walking past. Of course, it could be in my head. It's entirely possible if I'm supposed to be mad. I could be just imagining them saying these things. This likeness captures the Doctor's confidence. Uh, his dress is fastidious, his bearing calm, just shy of classically handsome. He likely instructed the artist how to render his nose with all of his children with him. Are we in an orphanage? I don't know where we are. Okay, let's head outside into the sunshine. Moorgate Street Station is closed. Traffic on Metropolitan and nice Circle side. Lines restricted. Okay. Uh, well, this is really nice. This is meant to be like Victorian London. This is lovely. Oh, this is really good. Uh, what's that? Chamber of Horrors. Uh, title about something something. And I can't read that one. Wine Tonic. Revive, refresh, re restore. <laughs> A person playing a creepy violin. I love this. I love how creepy everybody looks. You like Pocarini, and everybody just makes weird comments as I pass by. Creepy children playing. Everybody loves that. A cat! A putty! I want to chase the putty! 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 Where you go, putty? Oh my god, the putty's disappeared. Okay, hang on a minute. I've got like lots of ways to go here. I'm loving this. Look at all the clothes hanging out. And it's exactly what you expect Victoria in London to look like, isn't it? And uh, oh, there was another putty there, I think. Something jumped out in front of me. Maybe. Maybe I'm safe. Maybe I'm going mad. White Chapel Market. I also don't know London very well, so you know, these are probably all places that exist, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm from the North, love. I don't know now about London. Oh, there's the Puddy. Hello, Puddy. Hello, Puss. Puss, 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 Puss. Don't be afraid. Am I meant to be following the Puddy? I'm assuming I'm meant to be following the Puddy. Because the Puddy's all like white and everything, and everything else is all grey and horrible. Dead Man's Cross. That's exciting. I've lost the Puddy. Oh, there it is. There's the Puddy. Uh, ooh, the flaming stallion. Is this difficult because I want to stop and read everything because it's one of those worlds that's just like got loads of exciting things to read and stuff and yet yeah, I want to chase the putty. You won't go without me, will you putty? Seems following furry creatures into dark holes has become a habit. I hope it's <laughs> Oh dear Alice, I already love you. Um, oh this is nice, look at this man.
our stars and garters, Alice Little. Slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some of pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she kind of remember her name? What I heard. Okay, is anybody else following this? Because I feel like I'm not entirely following this, but I also feel like I'm not entirely meant to be. I think my parents all died in a horrific fire and maybe I caused it. And then I went to an asylum and then I got out of the asylum and now I'm being treated by a doctor who is just trying to make me forget everything. Which I do not think will actually help in the grand scheme of things. Okay, so we're now on a roof surrounded by pigeons. As you do, uh, a coop is really just a cage, but the birds don't seem to mind. <laughs> <laughs> I like all of her depressing observations. It's quite nice, that. Uh, I do like pigeons. My friend's dad used to keep pigeons when I was little. I used to go down to his allotment and didn't see them. Was it, was it pigeons or was it chickens? Might have been chickens, actually. Maybe it was both. I don't know. <laughs> uh, ooh, what am I looking at now? I don't know. Whatever it is, the game is not telling me. Um, definitely, definitely popped up there. Oh, hang on, there we go. We just Oh, we just get a depressing view of smog-filled Victorian London with their uh, Big Ben in the background there looking all nice. <laughs> Excellent. Hello, Mrs. Woman. Nurse Witless, do you mean to harm me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. One man needs a weapon. Oh, hello. This is more like it, isn't it? I'm going to assume this is Wonderland. But I'll be honest, I was quite enjoying creepy Victorian London. Why is my dress blood splattered? Do I want to know why my dress is blood splattered? Okay, so I don't entirely know why my dress is blood splattered, but I will admit I'm prettier here. Very upsetting journey. But I'm rid of Pris, or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. About time too, Alice. Blasted cat. Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. 
When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. Fail of tears. How exciting. Oh, and I've got a skull on the back of my dress. That's cute. I quite like that. I quite like Alice. She's uh, she's good fun. And I can jump now. Yay, I can jump now in Wonderland. Oh, this is so pretty. This is insanely pretty, actually. Much prettier than Victorian London was. Although I enjoyed Victorian London. That was there. Nice and creepy. Um, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what's going on. But, uh, like I say, I feel like I'm maybe not meant to. And like I say, I'm not the most clued up on Alice in Wonderland either. Or like the entire story of Alice in Wonderland. I know bits and pieces, but I don't really... <sighs> I don't know it that well. But, you know, I'm sure it's not supposed to make sense anyway. So, <laughs> that's fine. Also, there's a cow chicken. Interesting. Yep. Yes, because like, I've not read the book or anything, I've not seen the original Disney film, I've just seen the live-action ones, which I did love, I loved the live-action ones, I thought they were brilliant. Um, like I said, they don't seem to be particularly loved by people who actually really like Alice in Wonderland, but I like them. <laughs> um, this is nice though. Oh, oh, have we got like a creepy statue waterfall thing? This is really cool, is that a save point? Ooh, recover memory. Okay, I've received a memory. Maybe I need to get all my memories and piece them together to actually work out what the fuck is going on. I don't know. Um, this is so pretty. <laughs> I really like this. This is like really pretty. Also, really nice music. Nice creepy music. There's another cow chicken. Um, do you know what the, they, they look like, actually? Did anybody ever play um, Black and White? Was it Black, Black and White? Where you were like a god. And you could have like... Um, pets, but they were like giant. So you could have like a monkey, but he was like a giant monkey. And one of them was a cow, and he looked very much like that because he, he like walked on his hind legs. That's a game I should play on this channel at some point. Loved a bit of uh, Black and White, never once finished it. Um, I like all the double nose flying around. Oh, don't know if there's some. Oh my! Oh, I've got a double jump. Oh my god! I've got. A, I'm a Jedi. I'm a Jedi. I've got a double jump. Actually, this is very much reminding me of Kashik from. Um, um, yes, that game. What was it called? The Jedi one. Fallen Order, that's it. Um, yeah, I can twirl. I've got a twirl jump. That's so cool. Um, I love that. That's really good. Is that meant to be me? Am I meant to be like weeping or something like that? I've got the weeping girl. Um, right, where am I meant to be going? I'm assuming I'm meant to be going somewhere I can only do- Oh, there's dominoes, man. There's dominoes for me to jump. Excellent. Um, I have to say, it's not feeling particularly clunky at the minute, all of those comments that they said uh, the controls were clunky. It's not feeling that way massively. There was a creepy person there who disappeared. Um, we haven't got into combat yet, though. Combat might be another... Um, story? If you leave from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. Yes, these seem to be memories from my family that I'm uh, recovering. Toad stools to jump on. Is this like some kind of Enid Blyton world, isn't it? Noddy Land or something. No. Where did Noddy live? Toyland. Amanita muscaria, Alice, is merely a stinky toadstool. A spongy consistency, but poisonous. Yeah, that looks like a place I could get through if I was smaller, doesn't it? And I do know enough about Alice in Wonderland that she drinks a thing and it makes her small, right? That's a thing that happens. Ooh, yes, drink me. Is that going to make me big or is it going to make me small? Because, like, she eats something and then she drinks something and one of them makes her big and one of them makes her small. Is that right? Is that Am I right about that? I'm not entirely... I've been down this road before. Good things in small packages? Though lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, 
you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it, quite. Forests for the trees, just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. I have to say, she's got a very, very jolly voice actress. Right, left control to shrink. Hey, and I can be small. Oh, I have to keep it held down. Okay. Well, shrink. Alice will gain shrink sense. Oh, I can see things written on the wall. Oh, that's cool. But I can't jump. And I have to keep it held down, which is kind of irritating. Um, yeah, that's cool. And I hiccup as well while I'm doing it, which is interesting. So... I mean, what, what is that saying? That's like an angry face and a basket with an arrow pointing to that. Is it like warning me of what's through there or something? I'll recover this memory. Look how small she's become. All curled up. She's barely there. I'm fixing in her hiding hole. Okay. Then if we shrink and we can go through here. And, uh... Oh, oh it's harder to control her when she's small, weirdly. Oh, is this not where I was before? I feel like this is where I was before. Maybe? Yeah, I jumped up here, didn't I? Did I jump up here? Not 100 certain. Hang on. Let's jump up this one. Whee! Yeah, this is where I was before. Maybe that was just teaching me, like, shrinky stuff. There was another keyhole, wasn't there? Yeah, there we go. I knew there was another one. Next to the creepy hand plant. Right, what's through here? Uh, that's a... That is that me, like, twirling? Is that telling me I'm going to have to twirl? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I can't interpret the scribblings of a madman. Um, oh, hello. You're a giant snail. Great. You seem to be trapped by the roots of a tree or something. That's great, that is. Um, if I go into shrinky mode. No, there's no more, like, things for me to see. Oh, there's little teeth there. Hello, little teeth. I've collected teeth. Great. <laughs> Absolutely no idea what's going on, but I'm quite enjoying myself. So you're a giant snail. Hello, giant snail. Say hello to the giant snail. You don't seem to be trying to do anything nasty to me or anything. Just a giant snail just hanging out by a giant snail tree. Okay, oh my god, there's another giant snail over there. Okay. Vented snail land, I think, people. I'm not thrilled about snail land. Me and snails, I find them a bit creepy, I'll be honest. Better than slugs, though. Because um, at least snails, you can pick them up by their uh, shell and you don't get gunk on you. There's arrows pointing me in this direction. But there's nothing else. I don't know what the little drawings mean, because none of them have seemed to actually, like... You know, connect to anything, if you see what I mean. I do enjoy how she just hiccups when she's little. Go on, hiccup again, Alice. It's cute. <laughs> and, ooh. Ooh, that's a... Okay, so that's like a demon person with a knife. Or is the knife, like, going into the demon person? I don't know. Let's just collect some more teeth. Why not? There's a hand putting me through here. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm about to fight something soon. Because I know there is combat, because lots of people have said in the uh, reviews that the combat was clunky. Um, and there hasn't been any combat yet, so I'm assuming... These flowers are cool, though. I like these, but they like open up when you get close to them. That's cool. I like that. I like that. And uh, more snails. Uh, house. Aha ha ha ha! It's a hidden memory. Okay. I'll never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. A part will take you soon, Alice. Okay, that looks like... Oh, do I jump up through here? Do I? Yay! Oh, oh, oh. And now there's a giant slide. Okay. Oh, oh and I have to collect teeth on the giant slide. Of course I do. Of course I have to collect teeth. Maybe I'm actually like the tooth fairy or something. That was a golden tooth. Oh, how exciting. I mean, I don't know. Are the teeth currency... Is that a thing in Wonderland? Do we use teeth like money or something? I'm assuming I should avoid the snails. I don't know, but I'm assuming. And golden tooth and that's a blood splatter. Is that all of the people who haven't survived the slide? Because 
Assassin's Creed. I just up until now, Wonderland's been quite. Oh, that's River of Blood. Yeah, up until now, Wonderland's been quite um, cheerful and colourful and happy. And now there's just a river of blood. <laughs> I suppose I should have been expecting given the tone of this game. <laughs> look how pretty it is, though, so long as you don't look down. Yeah, definitely a river of blood. And I can see, like, a skeleton or something through there. That's not nice. Okay. Let's just skip happily up the river of blood. That's a beautiful... <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's a dead thing. Um, oh, that will that be the thing that she killed in the first film? I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a giant dragon thing and she killed it. I think. Um, and that, that, that tree looks like a giant mouth, right? That's not just me, surely. <laughs> The Vorpal Blade is swift and keen, and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. The Vorpal Blade, yeah, she had that in the film, I think. From what I remember, and she killed like the dragon thing with it. God, I'm tired of um, <clears throat> go snick a snack. It leaves them dead. I've seen in a, in a, in a what? In a previous poem. Interesting. Great. So I've now got a weapon. That probably means I'm going to have to fight something. The Volpa blade inflicts the swiftest damage to a single target at close range. Okay. So, press up. Yeah. Okay. I've now got like a, an attacky thing. And oh, the skeleton's gone in a puff of smoke. That's nice. Right, okay. So, oh, you've got some good moves on you there, Alice. I like that. Oh, God. Why is the world shaking? Is it a good thing that the world's shaking? I feel like it's not a good thing that the world's shaking. Um, okay. Let's just go and collect this memory and pretend everything's dandy. Flight or fight implies a permanent but flight often just means putting off the fight to another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. Okay. I, that, that, yeah, she's crying blood. That's... Oh, okay. That's great. This definitely looks like a death arena as well, doesn't it? Right, I need to know. Can I save the game? No, the game was just all save. Um, oh, I've got things there. Snouts peppered, zero. Interesting. Memories recovered, six of 26. Uh, Redula rooms completed. I don't know what that is. Bottles collected. None. Oh, okay. Paint the rose red. Interesting. And I've got 46 teeth. Okay. Well, <sighs> set on him. Can I like... Oh, oh, I can, I can, I can attack these and collect teeth. How exciting. How exciting. And that looks like... At the top, that looks like it might be health or lives or something like that. I'm not 100% certain. But we can, uh, yeah, collect all the teeth. I don't know why I'm collecting teeth. I don't know what I'm going to do with teeth once I've collected them. Hmm. I don't just like collecting teeth. Maybe it's just a hobby. Who knows? Um, okay, hello. Let's say caps lock for a series of swift vocal blade attacks. Okay, I shall hit you with my vocal blade. You don't look that scary, I'll be honest. There you go, you weren't that scary. Your head rolled away, and there's more of you. I thought there might be more of you. Okay. Let's shift to dodge. Ooh, that's a cool dodge. I dodge in a cloud of butterflies. How exciting. Okay, is there more? Is there more? No, okay. I think how their heads just rolled away. That was quite cute. Okay, so I didn't find that particularly terrible. Um, controls wise, I thought that was all right. Okay, they, oh, they're all like inky. No, oh, that's not very nice. Okay, let's carry on in. There's another memory up here in the form of reading glasses. It suddenly got a bit creepy, I'll be honest. The music stopped being all happy and jolly. Um. A flower's purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. Yeah, it's not that easy though, is it? Uh, 
Uh, he's not entirely wrong though. We are mostly just a product of our memories and experiences. And I completely missed. <laughs> Try that again. And completely missed again. Hang on, I can get this. Oh, I need to do another jump, that's why it is. Do another jump, okay. Yeah, it's got a bit creepy all of a sudden. The sky's still nice and blue, but music's a bit creepy. While jumping, press and hold spacebar to initiate Alice's float. <gasps> okay. To further extend the float, press and hold spacebar again while jumping. Okay. So. Ooh, float and then float. Yeah, okay. I, have, I haven't quite got it, I'll be honest. Give it another go as I emerge from a cloud of butterflies. So jump. There we go, that's better. The float can be used multiple times while jumping. Okay. So, get the tooth, get the tooth. And then, yay! Oh, that's quite cool. I quite enjoy that. Okay. Um, hmm. This might have put me up here. Possibly. There we go. And I can float down all nice and happy. Ooh, that's a bottle. I have collected the bottle. Gonna be teeth in here. Oh, and red things as well. I don't know what the red things are. I think they're roses, but I don't know why I'm collecting the roses. I don't know. I'm sure all will become clear. Or perhaps not. Left shift to dodge at any time, even while jumping. Why are you telling me that now, game? Can I really dodge while jumping? Oh, I can. That's kind of cool. Um, right, okay. Yeah, am I about to get attacked in midair or something like that? Is that why it's telling me that? Oh, this is a bit interesting and creepy. Uh, just, I think we can like sneak past her without her noticing because uh, she looks a bit terrified. She looks like, oh my god, what's that game? It's like the creepy one with the giant people and you have to like avoid them. I can't remember what it's called now. It's just like a little indie platforming type game and it's like giant terrifying people who you have to avoid and it's really like creepy. I can't remember what that's called. That would have been a good Halloween series as well. But that's what she looks like. Ooh, I've got a golden tooth. I've got a golden tooth. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Woman. Are you a nice, happy person? Ah, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a poor sign diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice, and you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Okay, Mrs. Woman with a giant head and quite impressive cleavage. <laughs> so, pick up the pepper grinder. That pepper grinder is almost the same size as me. Like, flipping egg woman. The Duchess's Piglet Edition Pepper Grinder. Spice up your foes. <laughs> Prepare if it snacks. Okay. Um. Ooh, and that looks like a locked door that I maybe can't get through. Can I not get through there yet? Oh, maybe I need like a key or something. A special like door and powers. I don't know. I mean, by this game I might need like a, I don't know, an avocado or something to get through. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Oh, are these terrifying, terrifying flies? It shatter. Um, you're you're definitely definitely facing the wrong way there, Alice. There we go. Is it just going to keep firing flies at me? Am I supposed to like attack the main thing? Oh, 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 it's on me. I dodged. Yeah, it looks like the roses at the top are, um, 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 health. Yeah, I'll remember my name words in a minute. Okay, 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 okay. So I can't target that yet, so I'm meant to. There we go. And then, there we go. 
Oh, another one popped down. That's not nice. That's not fair. Okay. I feel like I got them all, but the music's still going a bit mad. It's freaking me out a bit. But uh, they actually took down quite a bit of my health. Do I have, like, uh, does it show me what my health is? No, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, I sort of see what people mean about the combat being a tiny bit clunky. Not unmanageable, though. Uh, get myself some toothy pigs. Yeah, the music's still going crazy, but I think I got them all. I feel like I got them all. Oh, no, hang on a minute, there's more coming in. There's more coming in. Okay, let's just get rid of all of these. And worry about the flies later. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, okay, okay. Dodge, 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 dodge. Right. Actually, do you know what? Once you kind of get into the swing of it, the couple are actually quite fun. <laughs> Uh, quite satisfying, the way she just smashes through everything. Right, any more? Any oh, hello. Yeah, we'll uh, get rid of you and then I collect teeth from people. Oh, that's, yes, that's a flying pig. Okay, well, a, f a flying snout, not a flying pig. It would be ridiculous if the entire pig was flying. Uh, throw in every domain, keep an ear out for snouts. Enter aiming mode. How do I enter aiming mode? And shoot the snout with the pepper grinder. Once the snout is full of pepper, it will reveal paths and collectibles. Well, obviously, of course it will. <laughs> what other purpose could they possibly have? Press T to toggle aiming mode. Ah, uh, okay. So, what do I do then? Oh, it's right, it's right, mouse button, okay. And I pepper it up, and it gets full of pepper, and then it opens doors for me. Obviously. Wonderful. Brilliant. <laughs> don't know what else I was expecting, to be honest. I think I've got some of my health back. I don't know how I got some of my health back. But uh, let's not question it. Thank you so much for the snout. Now go away. Break the Duchess's basket to reveal a reward, that said, I believe. I mean, is she going to take offence to me breaking her basket? Um... Ooh, lots of teeth. And a door opened. Yay! Okay, she didn't seem to take offence at that. She's got bloodstained knives on her wall. Oh no, they're not bloodstained. That's good. <laughs> not quite a lot of knives, though. Quite a lot of knives. What on earth is that up there? That looks like... I think it's just a vase, for, but for a minute there it looked like an octopus and honestly nothing would surprise me. So, head on in here. Hmm. There's a piggy snout. Hang on, hang on. I need the piggy snout. I need the piggy snout. Piggy snout, piggy snout. Luckily, they seem to stay still, which is nice. While I pep them up. Ah, and it opens paths for me. How nice. Oh, not the flies. I don't like the flies. The flies are creepy. Also, I need to pick these teeth up. Oh, okay. And I can't get to the thing to easily, um, like, destroy it either. Okay, okay, let's just run over here. And then we've got other things attacking us, obviously. Yeah, no, my, I think my health goes up when I kill things. Uh, wait, hang on a minute, get off the fly, get off the fly, get off the fly, get off the fly, get off the fly. move, 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 um, Well, I say fly, it's a flying bolt. I don't know why it's a flying bolt. Is that a thing from Alice in Wonderland? <laughs> I don't know how much of this is from, like, the book and how much of it has just been made up for the sake of the, uh, for the game. Because I think the game's a bit darker than the book was, maybe. Right, okay, what way am I meant to be going? Let's just get rid of you. What way am I meant to be going? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I'm very confused and slightly terrified. Right. There's a one up there, but I don't know how I get to that. I don't know if I can jump to this one. Hey, I can jump to that one. Okay. Get rid of that. Uh, just deal with these idiots. Yeah, trouble is they're just going to keep coming. Right, can I recover this memory? I need to figure out how the fuck I'm supposed to get up there. Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm just meant to run away. Oh, there's one down there as well. Hang on. Let's jump down there. Float. I don't know if that's like fall damage. And if I have to float the room. Or if I can just fling myself off randomly. I don't know. I would like to figure out how to get to that one though, because well, I don't know if I can even get back up now. Um, because running around, while I'm being attacked by flying whatever they are, 
might be a bit tricky. I like the rainbow snail things though, they're kind of cool. Yeah, so there's a lion Egypt. They're gonna be more coming after me. It probably is. Um yeah, I'm not hundred percent sure where I'm going. Um I've come down here. Can I go behind the waterfall? Is there anything behind the waterfall? There better be something behind the waterfall. Oh, there's nothing behind the waterfall. Oh, I can see a bouncy thing over there. Hang on. Okay, so this is a bouncy thing. It's going to get me back up. And then I can get back across to here. How do I get up there? I must be able to, surely. Unless I need some kind of ranged attack or something. I mean, I've got pepper. I don't know if that would work. I think pepper would work. I feel like it maybe wouldn't. Oh, hang on, I can't actually target it. Oh, I can kill it with the pepper. Oh, cool. Can I kill you with the pepper as well? Oh, I think I can, you know. Oh, I've, I've overloaded me pepper. <laughs> me pepper overheated. Uh, okay. So. Bring you down, see if you're going to open up a new path for me. Okay. I'm quite enjoying this, you know. <laughs> I mean, it's not totally mental and I have absolutely no idea what's happening, but I'm quite enjoying it. And, uh, what on earth are you? Oh, you're a statue of a pig turtle? No, a cow turtle. What does that say? The mock turtle lost at sea. I don't know, These all this might be references to the book. I have no idea. I never read it. Um, yeah, maybe I should have read it before playing this. I don't know. Anyway, we'll head up these helpful dominoes. I wonder if there's going to be like secrets. Like, oh, those dominoes flew away. Oh, oh, they're moving dominoes. Yeah, I don't know if there's going to be like secrets hidden in different parts and stuff like that. Like, there's a golden tooth. Because at the minute it's quite linear, but I don't know if there's going to be like, you know, hidden areas and whatnot. It feels like the kind of game where there probably is going to be hidden areas collectibles and things. Oh, there's a lot of ink here. Yeah, she's crying ink. Oh, lovely. Oh, oh, slithering ruin. Lovely, that little, little ink slugs. Great, everybody loves ink slugs or oil slugs or whatever they are. Excellent. Everyone loves a bit of that. Hopefully they can't jump. <sighs> Yeah, I can hear things bubbling. Yeah. Oh, you're an actual full-on ink person, are you? Rather than a mini ink slug. Maybe that's what the oh, maybe that's what the ink slugs grow into. I exploded into butterflies. You know what? That's how I want to go when 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 I reach my end. I want to explode into butterflies. <laughs> that's how I want to die. Right. Okay. Uh, snip and grab this tooth. Yeah, my health's gone back, but I, I feel like you get health back when you defeat enemies, possibly. That feels like a thing to me. It doesn't feel terribly difficult so far, but I'm going to assume there'll be a boss hiding around the place somewhere. Interesting. Oh. Oh, it's not so pretty anymore. Oh dear. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Okay. Okay, do you know what? I feel like that's a good place to maybe end the part because <laughs> I feel like we're in a transition here from nice happy wonderland to maybe not so happy wonderland I think perhaps the illusion's about to be shattered so I shall see you again very very shortly for part two of our Halloween special until then I will leave you with this delightful view of oh look the sun we've got the sun shining through the horrifying death clouds and I shall see you again next time